Dear ladies and gentlemen, honorable guests, Your Excellency Ambassadors, uh, it is a real big pleasure to meet you. So, yeah, as you know, my name is Algir Destonis, and uh, I have established a uh, company called LT Miltek in May this year, 2024. So this is like a real, real infant baby of the company. So, uh, as you know, uh, I have uh, a lot of volunteering activities. I've been participating in many donation uh, campaigns for uh, Radarum with Blue Yellow, also helping international charity, helping Wing, and uh, I used to be a IT entrepreneur. I'm coming from telco business. So uh, back in the day when I was doing the charity, I just met a company in uh, Kiev, Ukraine, and I just happened to become a shareholder. Actually, I have acquired shares of a Ukrainian drone factory in Kiev. And uh, back in May uh, this year, Lithuanian government has announced that it would like to buy some FPV drones. And then we say, hey, we should build the same factory in Kaunas, Lithuania. And long story short, now we have six companies, thousands of FPV drones delivered. We have software companies. We have companies building the components, antennas, uh, radio equipment, uh, equipment that can penetrate jammers, R&D departments in Vilnius, Kaunas, and Kiev. So we have created a international cluster. So cluster is not an association, it's a joint venture agreement between companies, it's a sociality europe form. So basically we are a joint operation of many independent companies and building products, products for defense. Uh, cluster has a lot of members, so we have our partners, the manufacturing companies, in our aligned countries and in Lithuania and Poland as well. So um, we are cooperating with the component manufacturers who are producing our, our components so we can build them drones with fully component base that is based in the allied countries. So that includes as well Taiwan. So uh, thank you very much, Lithuanian government, for and especially Minister of Economy, who have supported us and uh, introduced us to many, many uh, electronic component manufacturers and engine manufacturers in Taiwan. And uh, of course, uh, we are here all about um, the drones, the defense solutions that are being used right here and right now. So Lithuania is... Uh, in fact, fighting in, uh, in, in Ukraine. So we are fighting together with Ukrainians. So more than 200 Lithuanian volunteers have signed contracts with, uh, with Ukrainian armed forces, and they are fighting. And we have many wounded. We have 50 wounded Lithuanians. We have even two volunteers that have sacrificed their life, Tadas Tumas and Mantas Kvedravichus. So, Lithuania is actively engaged, and people are actually sacrificing their lives, health. So a lot of volunteers are serving in the International Legion of Ukraine, and uh, they have a lot of comrades. And actually, what we have seen, that those comrades are from France, from Sweden, from Poland, and they're also sharing the same cause. So actually, the consortium, the Lithuanian Defense Cluster, is employing the veterans of war from International Legion of Ukraine. So uh, if you are a veteran of International Legion, uh, you are welcome to join our cluster and uh, we can provide uh, work, we can provide them uh, uh, actually a very well-paid work, so people, when they are coming back, they are not left on the streets because they sacrificed all their life uh, savings. They quit their jobs, some of the very well-paid jobs, and they left everything and they went to fight to Ukraine. So this is one of the mission of our cluster is to actually provide 
and make sure that uh, those people who are coming from the war, unfortunately, uh, this negative effect of the wounded veterans is coming. So uh, we are fighting uh, to support our people who sacrifice so much for our freedom. So uh, Cluster has uh, quite a lot of production. So FPV drones already being purchased by Lithuanian uh, defense. So we are also consulting uh, ammunition manufacturers all over the Europe how to make the good uh, drone ammunition. We're creating our own software, the simulators, how to train, plan the missions. We're creating the R&D for uh, new weapons and how to make an evolution of drones. Those drones that are fighting today are not the same that, are, that were yesterday. And tomorrow we're going to have even more difficult drones that are even stronger. So I have a, a big success story that I want to share with you about our large FPV partner, the Vampire. So uh, Vampire is a, uh, is a brand name of the so-called heavy dropper or the large FPV in Ukraine. So we now have a company name for it. It's called Skyfall, and it's a partner at the Lithuanian Defense Cluster with a licensed production in Kyiv and Lithuania. <laughs> so Vampire is actually the very popular concept of the drone. So it's a hexacopter, and it has uh, really, really good specifications, can fly very far, bring a lot of uh, cargo, and uh, deliver really, really big uh, change into the battlefield. Actually, it has been all over the news. Anthony Blinken even visited the manufacturer facilities. 500,000 uh, combat missions. Every mission brings 10 kilograms, so it's uh, 50 million uh, kilograms of uh, TNT dropped on Russia. It's like uh, 50 kilotons of, it's like almost half of a nuclear bomb that uh, we already dropped. 10,000 uh, produced already. And this is uh, the drone that keeps uh, Ukraine today. It keeps uh, soldiers fighting. It helps with the mining operation, especially remote mining, because uh, Ukrainians doesn't have uh, good, uh, like, a rocket-propelled remote mining. It is supporting the infantry assaults and what's most importantly, infantry retreats. It helps uh, infantry to go back safely from the position because now Russians are pushing on all fronts very heavily. It's uh, delivering humanitarian aid, it's delivering food supplies, ammo supplies. And of course, it's a really, really good uh, tool for the special operation, destroying ammunition, striking deep, deep into the enemy territory. The most uh, famous solution is that it can have many, many adaptations. So this is not an agro-drone. This is a special military product that can be modular and it can have many, many adaptations, like dropping the bomblets that can be produced locally as well in the European Union and uh, in Ukraine. It can drop mines and special equipment. It can even uh, drop nets in the air to capture the air balloons. We're going to check it out with the Lithuanian Rifleman Union, hopefully next week. So recently, uh, there is a statistic published about the drone effectiveness. All drones that are uh, currently in use in combat in Ukraine, so Vampire is doing 60% of destroyed, uh, um, uh, destroyed Russian equipment during the war. So all drones combined, like Mavic, DJI, Nemesis, Hotel, uh, and other ones are doing the 40%, and uh, vampires are currently holding the line today because it just happens that there is a facility for that, and uh, it's capable to produce uh, 2,500 drones per month. So the facilities are good, and we are actually investing here into people. It's uh, 
investment into 2,000 specialists, 2,000 people with knowledge, how to do it, how to make a change in the battlefield, people who are actually veterans who have been fighting, they're sharing our values and vision, and we are combining all those companies together into one group, Lithuanian Defense Cluster. So I feel proud for being Lithuanian here, as uh, Lithuanian is doing that uh, great initiative. <laughs> and uh, um, I invite all defense companies to join Lithuanian Defense Cluster, and we can make a change here only by bringing together, because these companies that we have common interest. It's an uh, interest in uh, gaining knowledge, interest in the technical uh, excellence, interest in financials, because we're doing the joint sales. And drum roll uh, for today, I have, uh, we just recently started uh, pre-orders for the vampires. So who want to join? A little bit of sales pitch to you. You can uh, contact the pre-order email address and uh, get the vampires, join our cluster, uh, create some change. And uh, this is a private initiative, so governments are uh, not yet involved, but we can sell to governments, we can uh, help governments to achieve whatever strategies they have. And uh, in this case, win the war, and uh, deliver that strong unity and uh, strong alliance to, against Russia and uh, win that war and make our nation safe and uh, defendable. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.